On that sunny summer day, Brooke's hands shook with a mix of excitement and nerves as she picked up the tattoo machine. Vinny had been her biggest supporter since day one, and today, he was her first client. She could tell he was excited to his eyes sparkled as he looked at her, a slight smirk on his face. But as she leaned in, ready to ink a small heart on his ankle, Vinny surprised her in the most unforgettable way. He lifted his shorts just above his knee, revealing a fresh tattoo she hadn't seen before. There, on his thigh, were the words, Will you marry me? Etched in delicate, cursive letters, with a small box for her to add her answer below, yes or no. Brooke froze, her heart racing. She looked up at Vinny, who smiled back with nervous eyes, awaiting her response. Every memory, every late night conversation, and every dream they'd shared seemed to flash before her eyes. She'd known him since they were kids, and even after all these years, he still found ways to surprise her. A crowd of curious onlookers gathered, whispering excitedly as they realized what was happening. Brooke's hands trembled, but with a deep breath, she steadied herself and carefully moved the needle to his leg. Slowly and deliberately, she began tattooing her response. When she lifted the needle, there it was, a beautifully scripted yes inside the tiny box beneath his proposal. The room erupted into cheers, but Brooke wasn't done yet. She took the tattoo machine one last time and added a tiny heart beside her answer a symbol of the love that had grown with them from childhood to this unforgettable moment. As she finished, Vinny pulled her into his arms, both of them laughing and wiping away tears. Their love had been written in memories and inked into skin, a story they'd carry with them forever. It was a proposal neither of them or anyone around them would ever forget. As the applause faded, and the excitement of the moment settled, Brooke and Vinny looked around, realizing they had just shared one of the most personal moments of their lives with a room full of strangers. But neither of them minded. There was something about that shared joy, the instant celebration from complete strangers, that made the experience even more magical. With her hands still trembling slightly, Brooke set down the tattoo machine. Vinny, unable to stop smiling, took her hands in his, looking at her with the same boyish charm that had first won her over in college. Guess it's official now, he said, his voice filled with laughter and love. Brooke chuckled, wiping a tear from her cheek. Only you would think of proposing with a tattoo, Vinny. Hey, I wanted it to be something you'd never forget, he replied, giving her a wink. And besides, now we have our first matching tattoos. He tapped the small heart she dinked on his thigh his face soft with admiration. Just then, one of Brooke's colleagues, a fellow tattoo artist named Sam, walked up with a mischievous grin. Well, now that you're officially a couple, how about some celebratory ink for both of you? Matching tattoos, maybe. Vinny raised his eyebrows at Brooke, waiting to see if she was game. Brooke smiled, loving the idea of adding a piece of art that symbolized this moment. Why not? She replied with a laugh. I think we've already got a good start. The two sat side by side as Sam began inking a pair of matching designs on their wrists to interlocking rings with the date of the proposal beneath them. It was a small but meaningful symbol of their commitment, something they could always carry with them. As the tattoos were completed, Sam handed them a mirror. Vinny and Brooke held it up together, examining the fresh ink on their wrists. The sight brought fresh tears to Brooke's eyes she was officially engaged to her childhood crush, her college sweetheart, the man who had been with her through every step of her journey. But just as they were basking in the moment, Vinny reached into his pocket and pulled out a tiny, velvet box. One last thing, he said, grinning as he opened it to reveal a delicate diamond ring. I wanted to make sure I did this part right, Brooke gasped, covering her mouth. Her heart pounded as Vinny slipped the ring onto her finger. It was as perfect as he was the exact ring she had once mentioned in passing, never expecting he'd remember. The room erupted into cheers once more as Vinny leaned in to kiss her. It was a moment of pure happiness, a love story years in the making, written in ink and etched in their hearts forever. From that day on, they knew they were not only bound by love, but by a story that would last a lifetime something so unique so daring, and so deeply personal that it could only be theirs. 
They left the shop hand in hand, their new tattoos and sparkling ring visible to the world, ready to start the next chapter of their lives together. As they left the tattoo shop, fingers entwined and hearts brimming with excitement, Vinny and Brooke walked through the city streets, basking in their new engagement. Everything around them seemed brighter, the world suddenly more beautiful, as if it were celebrating with them. They stopped by their favorite coffee shop, the one where they'd spent countless hours talking about their dreams, their fears, and their future together. When they walked in, the barista recognized them immediately and, spotting the ring on Brooke's finger, broke into a huge smile. Oh my gosh, did you finally get engaged? She exclaimed, beaming with excitement. Brooke held out her hand, grinning from ear to ear. We sure did, and it was a proposal unlike any other. The barista gasped as Brooke recounted the story, pulling up her sleeve to reveal the tiny tattooed yes and the interlocking rings on her wrist. Soon, the entire coffee shop was buzzing with excitement, customers leaning in to hear the story and sharing congratulations. Brooke and Vinny laughed as they were showered with well wishes from strangers, many of whom insisted on buying them celebratory coffees and treats. After leaving the coffee shop, they made their way to a nearby park where they found a quiet spot beneath a large oak tree. The sun was beginning to set, casting a warm golden glow over everything, and as they sat down on the grass, Vinny pulled Brooke close. Do you remember this spot? He asked, looking around with a nostalgic smile. Brooke's eyes lit up with recognition. This is where we had our first real date, she laughed. I was so nervous, I spilled iced tea all over myself. Vinny chuckled, squeezing her hand, and I didn't have any napkins, so I just gave you my shirt to clean up. They both laughed, remembering how awkward and adorable that moment had been. It felt like a lifetime ago, yet here they were, in the same spot, with years of memories behind them and a lifetime ahead. I can't believe we're here now, Brooke murmured, resting her head on Vinny's shoulder. We've grown up so much since then. Yeah, Vinny agreed softly, but I wouldn't change a single moment of it. He paused, his face thoughtful. We've got our whole lives ahead of us, Brooke. I want to keep making memories like this. From tattoo proposals to coffee shop celebrations to quiet moments under trees. Let's promise each other to always keep things as exciting as today. Brooke looked up at him, her eyes full of love. I promise, she whispered, sealing her vow with a soft kiss. Just then, a light breeze rustled the leaves above them, and a single oak leaf drifted down, landing gently in Brooke's lap. She picked it up, examining its intricate details, then tucked it into her pocket as a keepsake a small memento from the place where it all began. The evening drifted into night, and they stayed beneath the tree, talking about everything and nothing, dreaming about the adventures and milestones yet to come. They were in no hurry, time seemed to stand still, allowing them to savor every precious moment of this new chapter they had begun. As they finally got up to leave, hand in hand, Vinny turned to Brooke with a mischievous smile. You know, Brooke, now that we're engaged, I think we should get a few more tattoos together. How about one for each anniversary? Brooke laughed, giving him a playful nudge. You're on, Vinny, but only if I get to choose the designs. And so, with hearts full of love and a lifetime of inked memories ahead, they walked off into the night, their journey just beginning. The city lights twinkled around them like stars, and they felt, more than ever, that they were exactly where they were meant to be together, forever, writing their love story one tattoo at a time. Months passed, and Vinny and Brooke found themselves planning a wedding that was as unique and personal as their proposal. Instead of a traditional ceremony, they wanted something unconventional, something that celebrated their story, quirks, and all the things that made them them. When they shared the idea with friends and family, everyone was thrilled. Brooke's parents offered their backyard a lush, sprawling space filled with flower gardens and fairy lights that they knew would be perfect. Vinny's sister, who was a graphic designer, eagerly volunteered to create custom invitations capturing the whimsical and artistic spirit of the couple. One evening, as they were going over wedding details, Vinny had an idea. What if, instead of signing a guest book, 
we had a canvas and let everyone paint or write something special on it. Like a collaborative piece of art from everyone we love. Brooke's face lit up. That's brilliant. It would be so meaningful and we could hang it in our house as a memory of the day. The idea quickly grew. They decided to set up small tattoo inspired stations at the wedding where guests could paint many designs on the canvas hearts, flowers, initials, and whatever else they felt inspired to add. It would be a celebration of art, love, and all the memories they'd created with their friends and family. Finally, the big day arrived. The backyard was transformed into a magical setting. Fairy lights hung in the trees, flowers adorned every table, and candles glowed softly as the sun began to set. Brooke wore a dress with delicate floral lace details that matched the outdoor setting, and Vinny sported a suit with a subtle tattoo-themed lining, a playful nod to their story. As she walked down the aisle, Brooke couldn't help but be overwhelmed by the moment. There, at the end of the aisle, stood Vinny, looking at her with a love so fierce and genuine that it took her breath away. She could hardly believe that, after all these years, after growing up together and growing into themselves, they were finally here ready to make forever official. When they exchanged vows, they included promises that reflected who they were as a couple, to always support each other's dreams, to never stop surprising each other, and to always find ways to make each other laugh. Vinny's voice cracked slightly as he recited his vows, but his eyes held steady, filled with an unshakable love. After the ceremony, they moved to the reception area, where guests had already started painting on the large canvas. Brooke's childhood friends added flowers, Vinny's college buddies drew goofy doodles, and family members left messages and heartfelt notes. It was becoming a vibrant tapestry of love and memories, capturing the joy of everyone who'd gathered to celebrate. As the night went on, Brooke and Vinny shared their first dance beneath a canopy of stars, twirling and laughing as if they were the only two people in the world. At one point, Vinny whispered in her ear, think we should add one last tattoo. Brooke laughed, rolling her eyes playfully. What did you have in mind this time, Vinny? Something simple, he said with a smile. How about we each get a tiny heart right here? He pointed to his ring finger, just below where his wedding band now sat. It'll be our promise in ink. They snuck away for a few minutes as a friend helped them tattoo the tiny matching hearts on each other's fingers. It was just like that first proposal personal, meaningful, and a secret moment shared between just the two of them. When they rejoined the party, hand in hand and with fresh ink marking their commitment, their friends cheered and toasted them once more, clinking glasses under the stars. They danced, laughed, and celebrated late into the night, surrounded by the people who had been part of their journey from the beginning. As they finally left the reception, carrying the painted canvas and their hearts full of memories, Vinny looked at Brooke, a mischievous sparkle in his eyes. Well, Mrs. Wodak, are you ready for our next adventure? Brooke grinned, squeezing his hand. Always, Mr. Wodak. With the stars above, fresh ink on their fingers, and a lifetime of love stretching ahead, they walked off into the quiet night, ready to embrace whatever came next, side by side, one unforgettable moment at a time. In the weeks after their wedding, Vinny and Brooke settled into married life with an ease that felt as natural as breathing. The painted canvas from their wedding reception found its place above their fireplace, a beautiful and colorful reminder of the love and support surrounding them. Each night, they'd find themselves glancing at it, reliving the joy of their special day. Not long after, Brooke decided to take her tattoo career in a new direction. She'd been toying with the idea of opening her own tattoo studio and intimate, creative space where clients could come not just for a tattoo, but for an experience as unique and personal as her own journey had been. Vinny, as always, was her biggest cheerleader, and together they began planning and designing the studio. They found the perfect location, a cozy, sunlit spot in the heart of town with tall windows and enough wall space to display artwork from local artists. Brooke wanted her studio to feel warm and welcoming, a place where clients could bring their stories and leave with something beautiful. With Vinny by her side, they painted the walls, hung fairy lights, 
and even added a small seating area with the same canvas from their wedding. On opening day, friends and family gathered to show their support, filling the space with laughter and excitement. Vinny stood by her side, proudly watching as Brooke's dream came to life. As the first clients walked in, she greeted them with a smile, ready to help them bring their visions to life. But the most meaningful moment of the day came when an older couple entered the studio. They introduced themselves as Marie and Tom, who had been married for 50 years. They told Brooke and Vinny how they had read about the Tata proposal in a local magazine and had come to see the studio and meet the couple behind the story. Marie had decided that, for their 50th anniversary, she wanted to get a small tattoo a simple heart, just like the one Brooke had tattooed on Vinny during their proposal. Brooke felt tears prick her eyes as she listened to Marie talk about her lifelong love for Tom and how their story had been one of enduring love, patience, and countless adventures. As Brooke tattooed the small heart on Marie's wrist, they shared stories, laughter, and a mutual appreciation for the power of love in all its forms. Afterward, as the day wound down, Vinny and Brooke sat together in the studio, reflecting on how their own love story had brought them to this point, a place where they could connect with others in such a profound way. You know, Vinny said softly, his fingers tracing the tiny heart tattooed on her ring finger, I think we're on to something special here, Brooke. This studio, these people, it's all part of what makes us us. Brooke smiled, leaning into him. It's more than I ever dreamed, Vinny. And I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. As the months went on, Brooke's studio became a beloved part of the community, a place where people of all ages came to share their stories and commemorate moments that mattered to them. Brooke became known for her unique style and each tattoo she created felt like a love letter to the people she worked with. In their quiet moments at home, Vinny and Brooke would talk about the next chapter they hoped to write together. They dreamed of starting a family, filling their lives with even more memories, laughter, and love. And they knew that, just like their tattoos, their story would keep evolving, one moment at a time. Years later, as they sat together with their first child nestled between them, Brooke looked down at her tiny heart tattoo, the one that had marked the beginning of a lifetime of love. She took Vinny's hand, grateful for every step that had led them here, and whispered, thank you for believing in us from the start. Vinny squeezed her hand, smiling as he looked at the life they had created together. Forever, Brooke, he said softly, one unforgettable moment at a time. And as they sat there, surrounded by the quiet beauty of their life together, they knew that theirs was a story that would live on in every tattoo, every laugh, and every shared glance of love that was as permanent as ink and as infinite as the stars.